All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Crypto Crossword for Tuesday, February 20th. It is set by Brendan. Let's see what we have. Fly, like some insects, are bat. Um, I have a nasty feeling the R bat is going to be some cricket reference. But fly, like some... Oh, could it be a hidden clue? I don't think so. I don't see anything in there. All right, how about like husband found in a fornicating situation? Okay, a little scared of this one. Um, like I often think can be as, and then husband can be H. And could that be put in a fornicating and then the whole thing means a situation or is it just some punning double definition a word that's used to describe a husband i'm not sure let's look at the downs see if we can get some help here inflict corporal punishment on kid, for example. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure if. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm not sure which end of that is the definition. I presume it's inflict, maybe even inflict corporal punishment, but then uh, on kid. Oh, for example, it can be say, um, and kid, of course, there's a human child, but then also a little goat. No, a start of tribute about stupid Italian poet. The only Italian poet I can think of is Dante. But I'm not seeing, I mean, start of tribute is T, but then about, we can't put a single letter about a word for stupid. There is a T in Dante, but then Dane is left over. And if that's about, no, not seeing that. Let's go back to the acrosses. Food in repast is oddly deficient. Um, well, oddly suggests we use odd letters from deficient, but that's going to be D F C E T. And it's only a four letter word anyway. Food in repast, RPS, I, is it a hidden, in repast is, oddly, no, marks similar to 18, <laughs> so I suppose we have to get 18 first, but higher, no, snaps, Emerging branches. Could it be a triple definition or um, oh um, no, emerging branches as we go into spring would be shoots, and so it takes photographs can be snaps or shoots. So thankfully we didn't have to go too far. Um, just thinking about this one, of course, corporal punishment could be a lash. But um, I don't see how that would work. Oh, and now our Italian poet 
would end in O. Oh, can I think of... I wonder if a Roman poet like Ovid would be considered Italian, if it would be fair game for them to say Italian. Anyway, uh, let's try four down. Passing whites soaring over grass. Passing whites soaring over. I'm wondering if it could be a type of a grass. There's something coming to me of a something, and I'm wondering if it could be. Yeah, passing, a word for passing with W for white at the top. Hmm, not getting it. All right, let's go back to the acrosses. Maximally exposed first, covering up whole. Um, so I presume we take the first letter of his it of exposed? Are covering. No, I think it must be the exposed E, and then that covers up a word for whole, and it means maximally, or maybe it is maximally exposed. Some word for nude or something bare, but I don't know what whole would be. All right. Uh, minded after power is handed over. Um, well, power can be P. So could it be a word for minded after a P? And it means is handed over. A P-R-O... Minded, minded, um, minded, of course, can be cared for, but it can also mean kept in mind. No. All right, secure arms from communist Russia. Um, I wonder, I'm was thinking of a hidden clue, and I can see we have truss, which I think does mean secure, but not secure arms. But could, I don't know, arms from mean the, the outer parts of the two words that happen to touch. I don't know, that seems a bit of a stretch, but let's look at eight down and see if it could be a word ending in S. Ambassadors immersed in European matter in Greek city. Well, it could be a Greek city ending in a a S, Athens, of course, but six letters. I think an ambassador can be H-E for um, his or her excellency. And in European would be an E and then a matter. Oh, there is um, Ephesus. Isn't that one of the um, the uh, books in the New Testament? A letter from Ephesus, the, our book to the Ephesians. So the the um, but hold on, let's see. I was thinking it was going to be pus, but it's p sus. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Let me pause and look up. Ephesus to see if it is even in Greece. It might be Turkey. It was a, a Greek city, amazingly enough. So I'll leave it for now. It's too early for me to click the check this button. I like to wait until about 30 minutes before I start checking my work. 
Uh, so we'll see if that helps us with the others fornicating situation. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. And we still need to get 18 for this one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure this is going to help me too much. So let's uh, go back to the across. Oh, here we have to, f looks like have to solve six and 25. Ah, I wonder if this is going to be a hidden clue if we put the answers to 6 and 25 together, if we amalgamate them, and then we'll get something that actually divides them as well. We'll know when we solve them. Monarch displayed in museum, initially housed, show in ground floor extensions. I presume it's going to be... Well, I was thinking ground floor extensions, but I suppose it could be monarch, which could be a butterfly, but um, I don't think it is. But I think it's monarch to me is going to be ER or CR, maybe even just R, displayed in what would a museum be? A short, oh, like the Met, maybe? are the BM, British Museum, initially housed, that makes me think H, and then something for a show, oh, it could be HS, in ground floor extensions, um, I don't, is ground floor extension? I mean, it sounds like it's a phrase. But what would those be? Um, yeah, I'm not sure where to start with that one. Invariably costly meal, it said extended by indefinite period oh <sighs> what is a costly meal a slap up meal they used to always have that in the british comics like the beano and the dandy where someone would find a 5 pound note and go for a slap up meal Ooh, another reference to 18. Oh, so 18, which we have at least two, oh, three. I bet there's going to be more. No, it looks like just three refer to 18, but it in turn refers to six and 25. That's not fair. Uh, I don't like Brendan. Uh, flits with dashing young men around small Roman square. So I presume it's, oh, uh, presume it's going to be a Roman square. It's probably some Latin word, but flits, could that be an anagram indicator or is dashing anagram? Young men, of course, could be boys or lads around small. No. Tyrannical ruler found in previous answer after all. Well, the first one I think of as a tyrannical ruler would be Nero. But is a one hidden in, I think there's too many words for it to be a hidden clue. Uh, but we do have the ER, but 
after all, N-E-R-O, um, I don't know if Tito was a tyrannical ruler, obviously he was a dictator, but I don't know if you'd call him tyrannical. Um, no. This is a very tough. Originality of points, three of them in all. Points makes me think of North, South, East, West, NSCW. Three of them in all. Try something. Conservative regret about pathetic campaign. Uh, pathetic would be sad. Conservative can be just C. Regret is often rue. So C R U E about. Uh, oh, a crusade. So it was exactly C and rue around sad. And finally, we get another one. That's tough. All right, well, I suppose we'll start down at the bottom. Oh, yeah, 25 is one that's reference, so it'd be nice to get this. Is highly moving in theater part. So I think it's going to be a theater part. It's plural. I'm wondering if it could be wings, just because wings move birds, you could say moves them high. Let me put it in and see. Well, of course, this one is going to refer to 18. Kind of 18 or kind of blue. I presume it's going to be a shade of blue. Can't think of one. Ah, now this one does fit with Nero. And maybe we have to solve 26. And we will see N-E-R-O within it. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, doesn't finish some panda food. Hmm. Not getting that. I don't think we've had any obvious um, anagrams. Or I'm sure we have had, and they just evaded me. But anyway, let's see. It's not easy catching variety. American counterpart of 24. Ah, so whatever 24 is, it's a kind of blue may not be a shade of blue, maybe some other uh, variety. And then there's an American word that is used instead. But it's not easy, so I think it's not easy catching variety. It's going to be the wordplay. Ah! So I was just thinking of not easy as hard. So if we have that Harvard. So var is variety. Ah, so yes. So I think the British equivalent of Harvard is more likely to be Oxford. And don't you have like an Oxford blue? Is that somebody who on the rowing team or something? So then the part of the theater would be F. Yeah, I think I like, I can't think of a British university something something W, something R. 
Let's try Oxford. Um, well, we don't, so let me get rid of these letters. It's highly moving in theater part. Let me pause and think about that. Ah, well, I was, um, very close with wings. Uh, so a bird with wings flies, so is highly moving, is simply flies. Oh, so now it's not Nero. It must be Ivan the Terrible. Found in previous answer. After all, what other um, tyrannical ruler could it be? So maybe we will find Ivan previous answer. Well, IV, of course, is four in Roman numerals, but no, not uh, seeing that. Uh, let's look at this rowdy drunk driver admitting nothing. I think it must be rowdy. It could be a rowdy drunk, of course. And the word for driver that admits or has within it an O for nothing, which we already have. Driver and the word meaning rowdy or rowdy drunk. Oh, um, no, not seeing it. Now our monarch displayed in museum. Uh, there's our initially housed, I think, the H show in ground floor extent. Ah, yeah, so I think maybe it must end in S if it's ground floor extensions. So it could be THS or GH. Um, some kind of conservatories or uh, what else might you display it in museum? Ah, yes, yeah, so I think we're going to have in the first seven letters museum with a monarch within it. So it could be a five letter museum. V and A. And if we put ER. Ah, so this must be an alternative, maybe an older spelling of veranda. I would have spelt it without an H. But I can well believe there is a version with an H. Now, how does this help? Oh, a carouser comes to mind. Let's see if we can... Driver, a car, car user. Oh my goodness, that's a... Yes, that's what we've come to expect from the Guardian Cryptic. Car user is a driver. All right. Um, we go back up here. You know, we still have nothing on that. Still need our... Oh, I almost had the name of an Italian poet there. Ending in... Oh, uh, Sappho was Greek, right? But stupid... Yeah, I think there must be a, well, I'm not sure. That one, no, okay. How about add fatty stuff to heart of cabbage, say? Wow. Is that, say, for a homophone or as an example? Of course, heart of cabbage would be the B. 
Um, add fat. What is fatty stuff other than fat? Oil, oleo. But then it has to. It, well, does it end in B? But then is say the definition? Hmm. Put in situation hard to get out of, possibly providing one reads okay. Well, I presume this is an anagram of one reads okay. Oh, so it's a, uh, it's a good anagram because it refers to the definition in the game of snooker. If you're snookered, you can't hit the uh, the target ball, providing one reds okay. Thank goodness for that one. Um, and then getting the K should be helpful. Maximally exposed, first covering up whole. Ah, uh, well, I was just there when I pause thinking first expose thinking of starkers so um, Ephesus may not be right but how would starkers work first covering up whole no I don't don't see that either um, but I can't see anything else. All right, let's go back to the downs. Endlessly distrust the writer taken in by penchant for verbal ambiguity. I presume it means verbal ambiguity. Uh, something meaning, I'm thinking. A double meaning taken in by penchant, penchant. Um, yeah, let me put in meaning and see how that looks. So it's going to be a word for distrust that doesn't finish. Suspect, oh, doubt, of course, yes. So doubt and it doesn't finish. And then we have a penchant is a leaning. And, um, oh, I think um, it might be this L and this E, because then we have EM. And so the writer could be E.M. Forster. I do like that. Oh, so now it is not Starkers. Well, that makes me feel a bit better. Uh, maximally exposed. First covering up whole. Uh, there is some other word for... Um, Naked, could it be ending in I-S-H? Well, could it be a, a word for first, like best, that's covering up a word for a whole? Oh, yeah, so maximally does suggest it might be a, um, not a comparative, what do you call the most of something? Um, so first covering up a hole, maximally exposed. Let me pause and think about that. Um... I'm wondering if a hole could be a leak and bleakest. I don't think, oh, well, I suppose of a landscape, you might say it was bleak. 
you know, there are no trees. But it's not the um, the word I would have used in a definition if I was trying to give the uh, solvers uh, a fighting chance. But uh, okay, we're past the 30 minute mark, so I will check this. It is correct. I'm also going to go ahead and check Ephesus. It is correct. So we're going to have to check 15 squared to see why it is correct. Uh, oh, we still haven't got 18. Oh, we don't. We need six. So add fatty stuff to heart of cabbage. Say. Hmm. No, not getting that. Uh, here's another one referring to 18, so probably can't get it a point above 18. Uh, so maybe 18 is um, some kind of a score or something. In game, before final pass, forward. Hmm. Nope. Put out eggs, almost. Leave out scrambled. Uh, well, scrambled, of course, makes us think of an anagram, and almost. I mean, could it be leave OU and then anagram that to get put out eggs? Yes, I was thinking, well, we've too many vowels for that, but I just thought of uh, ovulate. Uh, let's check that. That is correct. Ooh, so now, well, of course, I still need a six. At least we have 25, which is flies, are what divides them. And again, it might be something about a score or a number, one among or what divides them. Of course, it could also be some kind of boundary or something that divides things. Um, I do like this one. Invariably costly meal, it said, extended by indefinite period. Well, luncheon fits, but um, I don't think that's an invariably costly meal. Extended by indefinite period. Oh, maybe it's a homophone for lunch or some other meal. Extended by an indefinite period. Is an eon a def an indefinite period? Invariably costly. No. How about 26? Flits with dashing young men around small Roman square. It could be um, flits as the definition, and it could be an I-N-G-S. Um, can flits be of a noun as well as a verb? I'm thinking of flings, I think. Around small Roman square. I still like it being a Roman square. All right. Um, I think I've looked at everything now. So um, let's maybe pause, finish my coffee and think about it. Well, I looked up um, poets with five letters and thinking it might begin with a T because the start of tribute. And there is a poet, Tasso. I have to look up to see when he lived. Um, but I can see ass is stupid, maybe. 
But where does the O come in? Start of tribute about. Well, let's check it. It is correct. So that maybe gives us something to uh, go on. Fly like some insects. R bat. No, not seeing that. Food in repast is oddly deficient. Oh, my, oh, yeah, I think I saw the oddly and um, thought we had to take the odd letters, but oddly deficient means only keep the even letters. So repast, of course, is you get eats, which can be, I suppose, it, is it slang to say eats for food? I think it is. Now, uh, does it look like maybe corporal punishment could be lash? Can it be a, a little spank, of course? Um, for example, hmm, now I think we're at the point where I'm going to start revealing a few to see if they help me so solve the others. So let's reveal that. Leather, oh yes. Uh, so growing up in Ireland, we definitely got the leather uh, every now and then. Quite painful. Um, so... Where does the wordplay come in? Oh, I, I suppose kid, like a kid glove, can be a type of leather. Uh, well, that is uh, tough. But now fly like some insects are bat. Um, flutter, maybe? Oh, yeah, I think if you bat your eyelids, you're fluttering them. So let's check that one. That is correct. Okay, getting that L from leather was helpful. Now, 14 is the one I thought might be P for power. And then a word for minded. And it, But it's going to mean handed over. Pro proceeded, pro, but proceeded isn't minded. Now I think I'm going to reveal that one too. Presented, oh, resented. Yes, I do mind. I resent that. Yeah, after power, hand it over. Yeah, I suppose you present someone with a gift. All right, passing whites, soaring over grass. Um, I'm wondering about elapsing, so time passing, elapsing, but where is whites soaring? Uh, well, I see grass now is sing, to spill the beans on somebody, to grass or to sing. Oh, and pale is white, and it's soaring or written backwards, okay? Now, we still haven't got 18. Oh, I need to get six, I think, and I may reveal this one, and then start, hopefully, the dominoes falling. Add fatty stuff to heart of cabbage, say... Now I'm going to reveal it. Butter. Now I suppose to butter something is to add fatty stuff. Heart of cabbage. Ah, heart of cabbage is the B, and say is butter. Oh, that's very tricky. All right. So now that we know six is butter. Uh, one among butterflies, um, or what divides them? 
Oh, I think it might be the the name for a butterfly's body, maybe, or something that divides them in half. Yeah, it's definitely not what I was thinking at first of a hidden clue among butter and flies. Let me pause and see what are the parts of a butterfly called. Ah, uh, well, the body uh, section is the thorax, unless there's some alternative spelling without an H. I think I'm going to reveal this one. Maybe it is a species of butterfly, but what divides them? Comma. Oh, I think there is a comma butterfly. And because they said one among six comma 25, wow, that is uh, very, very tricky. Yeah, you sometimes have to take things very literally, which is not easy for us humans with our language skills. All right, so now I think that makes uh, this one very easy. Similar is an apostrophe, but higher. So just a very straightforward um, definition. Now, like husband, found in a fornicating situation. Um, I presume if there is an H, it's going to be there, abashed. Could that be in abased? But I'm not sure. If I thought abased just meant put down low or let's check it. It is correct. Why is that right? Other than H found in A based. Uh, well, need 15 squared for that. Ah, so now, yes, so above a comma point, you get a semicolon. In game, before final, pass forward. Um, I'm not seeing in game. I suppose a semi could be a game as in a semi final. Oh, yeah, sorry, there is actually in game before vinyl. Oh, my goodness. And then pass forward is colon. Is it C O L on? Pass. Oh, pass could be a C, maybe. But then how is Olin forward? No, not getting that. All right, let's try 23. Ah, luncheon is looking good. Whoops, uh, let's go backwards and type it again. Let's check it. It is right, but invariably costly meal, it said. I can see Eon, but I don't see the rest of the wordplay. How about flits with dashing young men around small Roman square? Ah, uh, flits with, so if I'm right about dashing, oh, dashing young men, of course, could be an anagram of lads. Now I'm just going to reveal that one gallivants so it was flits is the definition small roman square <laughs> no 
there's probably some uh, Roman square I'm not sure about around small no we're gonna need our friends to explain that originality of points three of them in all now let's try 22 because we have that nice v doesn't finish some panda foods oh oh of course we know panda a panda eats shoots and leaves yeah, so it doesn't finish, I suppose, it's just leaves. It's a simply a double definition. Um, and now this one, originality of points. No, I'm going to reveal it. Newness. Ah. So I, I was right about it being the points of the compass. I probably should have gone a little further with that, but I'm not sure I would have thought of newness meaning originality. So we have three of them in all. Oh, I think because we have three NES within all four of them, Ooh, that's uh, very tricky. All right, let's uh, check all. Everything still seems to be there. Let's try 15 squared. All right, um, the blog today is uh, going to be Eileen by Eileen. Always a treat to see Brendan's name on top form again. Ah, so he had an apostrophe themed one in here similar. Ah, so yes, we had Lynn Truss, we had Truss, we had Leaves, um, and Shoot, and Eats, of course. Oh my goodness, very well done. Um, added theme of seven double definitions clearly signposted in the middle column. Oh my goodness. Do ah, yes, double meanings. Um, very smooth surfaces, yeah. So the ones I wasn't sure about for the across was as is like, and then husband in a bed. And so it's an and lit, I suppose. The whole thing means, I suppose, yeah, the word play, but then and a bash, a husband found in a situation might be abashed, yes. All right. Um, 13. Yeah, maximally exposed. I'm not sure if bleakest is that, but there you go. And there was Lynn Truss, uh, comma. Uh, 20. ER in V and A uh, plus how's show. You know, what, what was a nice show? Oh, just the spelling of veranda, I suppose. But maybe it is with an H. Ah, invariably costly. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Plus Eon. That one I don't like just because part of the wordplay is coming up with the lunch and then it's just lunch and anyway oh one here uh, by the way when I've worked out after getting Harvard that this kind of blue would be Oxford I never looked at the first part and I think I could have worked backwards from that to think of a comma oh but it's also known as the Harvard comma interesting okay Ah, so that's why I thought it was just the equivalent as both being um, well-known universities. All right, I see that now. Um, and then 26. Ah, gallants are the dashing young men. Oh my goodness, around <laughs> IV 
the Roman numeral for 4, oh, which is a small square number. Well, that's a good one. And Ivan is, oh yes, so referring back, found in the previous answer, after ALL. Yeah, so obvious. I've had a blind spot here. We have all four compass points, three of them twice. And then thanks to, oh, I think KVA is the one who uh, usually chimes in with a better explanation of some of these. Uh, so three of them in four. Well, I worked that out myself. I'm proud of that. Oh, of course, I had to reveal the answer, so I'm not proud about that part. And for the downs, um, two as ah, found at the beginning of a tribute around ass, meaning stupid. All right. Um, then what else did I not know? Eight. Ah, so the, ah, yes, I was thinking of pus meaning matter, but of course it's only one S. So ambassador apostrophe S, you need H-E apostrophe S, double meaning, semicolon, car user, got that. Very few anagrams today, am I right to say that? Um... Oh, yeah, ovulate was one. And then I think I got double definition referring to the panda joke, of course, in line with the uh, theme. Uh, let's see what people say. Fun start. I'm not normally a fan of what my solving friends call spaghetti puzzles. That's a good, yeah. So what should you all these um, yeah it would be nice to know what the official term is don't see something here oh the butterfly theme ah comma monarch oxford blue cabbage white wow <laughs> yes. Oh, and then KVA no one said anything about 5A being in and lit. So I'm starting to feel better now that I, I am picking up on some of these things. And, uh, you know, even when I watch the experts like Cracking the Cryptic or uh, David Webb, there are some they skip on. And I wonder if they do it on purpose so that we feel smart when we watch their videos, that we see it before them. I do assure you that is not the case in my videos. If I'm not getting something, it's because I'm not getting something. All right. Um, so thank you as always for watching and have a great day.